It is the deadliest of strokes, impacting almost three and a half million people a year. 51 to 65 percent of people who experience a hemorrhagic stroke die within the first year, many within the first few days. Six months after a hemorrhagic stroke, only 20 percent of patients are expected to be independent. The problem that we face is that intracerebral hemorrhage is a common problem. It is a very expensive problem and is devastating to the patients that experience it. And intuitively, it seems like it ought to be a surgical problem. If you have a blood clot in your brain, it must be good to take it out. That's why the ENRICH trial was such a monumental achievement. Many trials over several decades had successfully evacuated blood from the brain, but the outcomes were not what researchers hoped. And those studies showed improvements in survival, but not brain function or quality of life. So this is the piece of bone we removed. The ENRICH trial used a new, less invasive approach where surgeons drilled a much smaller hole in the skull, carefully navigating around vital brain tissue. This new technique allowed doctors to remove the clot while preserving essential brain connections. And the pressure is immediately released. To the goal was to minimize damage, speed recovery, and give patients a better shot at regaining their lives. So this is a, a portion of the blood clot. They did it. Removed. So far, so good. This married 49-year-old father of twins lived to see his 50th birthday because of Enrich. We demonstrated that patients that got surgery had better outcomes, they had shorter hospitalizations, and the cost of their care was less. It was a trifecta, if you will. We, hit a home run, a grand slam. The ENRICH trial focused on hemorrhagic strokes in the lobar region of the brain. The lobes of the brain are the frontal lobes, the temporal lobe, the parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe. The next study using this same surgical approach is focused on hemorrhagic strokes in deeper parts of the brain. We're gonna be conducting a new study that is called REACH, um, and that is rapid evacuation and access of cerebral hemorrhage. It's going to be 600 patients that we're going to study in 60 hospitals across North America. 50 to 70 percent of hemorrhages happen in those deeper areas of the brain, and the people who have them tend to be younger than those who have hemorrhagic strokes closer to the brain surface. One of the key things why we also want to do this is because Superficial or lobar hemorrhages, they occur in older patients. The average age in our study for lobar hemorrhages was about 67. Deep hemorrhages happen to younger patients. They tend to affect people in an average age of 47. It hits them at the most productive time of their life. So in that sense, we have an even greater potential for impact in terms of disability that we can avoid for patients that can return to many, many years of highly productive lives. The Marcus Foundation gave a $26 million grant to fund the REACH trial. The funding has come from the Marcus Foundation. Um, the late uh, Bernie Marcus um, uh, was very philanthropic. Uh, did a lot for the city of Atlanta, and has done an enormous amount for medical care. The Marcus Foundation has also funded a national registry, the largest in the world for intracerebral hemorrhage patients. It will collect real-world data from 1,800 patients at hospitals across the country so doctors understand how this technique works outside of a controlled study. How the surgery performs in the real world outside of the context of a clinical trial is something that we also want to understand because it helps us refine the procedure, make it better, make it faster, broaden its reach and its adoption by other centers. And this registry is gonna let us do that. The study is getting underway in 2025 and will run for four years.